Oh, also, we have some good news. The Algerian boxer Iman Khalif is suing both J.K. Rowling and Elon Musk. That's not one, but two billionaires. Hey, I, I am so supportive of this, okay? Oh, my God. Oh, it's so good. Cyberbullying lawsuit filed by Algerian boxer Iman Khalif. J.K. Rowling and Elon Musk have both been named in the criminal complaint to French authorities over alleged acts of aggravated cyber harassment. Get your money up, queen. Okay? And it's wonderful because both of them are so fucking rich. Okay? They are so goddamn wealthy. This makes me so happy. You gotta sue someone who has the money. You know what I mean? And it is rather interesting. I have noticed something. I've noticed that a lot of fucking people actually deleted their Iman Khalif tweets. Some people have not tweeted at all. Like JK Rowling. I believe, what was it Chris Hitchens? He deleted all of his tweets about the Olympics. Or, or was it not Chris Hitchens? Sorry, fucking Richard Dawkins. Hitchens is dead. It's the same shit, though. It's the same guy. I always... I always mix and match my fucking edgy, uh, Islamophobic uh, atheists. Hitchens died before he could uh, turn into... Before he could turn into a Dawkins-style... I actually think I, I am Christian after all, <laughs> culturally. Wouldn't it be on JK Rowling to not tweet on this? Kamala and Tim holding a rally at the RNC arena in Milwaukee. Yeah. Lawyer up Chaya. It appears that Chaya Rachik may have made her tweets attacking Iman Khalif while in Portugal, a country with strong hate speech laws and part of the EU. She might want to consult a lawyer. Hello from Portugal. Four months ago, the people here voted out their socialist government shift to the right. The right-wing party, Chega, won a staggering 48 parliamentary seats. Two years ago, they had just won 12. We will do the same this November. Enough with this insanity. They're going to argue that being called trans isn't inherently a bad thing. That one has worked in U.S. courts before, but we'll see how they handle it whenever this happens. Oh, that's so gross. So transphobes have used like, oh, well, I thought being trans wasn't a bad thing as a defense. God, I hate that. Pretty sure they called her a man, though, anyway. So they didn't just call her a trans woman. Pretty sure they just straight up, flat out called her a man. Joe Rogan unretweeted some tweets calling Iman a man. Hmm. One of the greatest parts about this is that like these rich assholes, these are all rich ass motherfuckers that are unimaginably transphobic. So they actually do have the capacity. They actually do have the capacity to be sued and like, you know, the, the person has the capacity to get some awards off of it. So that does make me happy. Richard Dawkins deletes post calling Olympic boxer Iman Khalif a man as she files harassment complaint. Atheists are not exempt from this foolishness too, by the way. This is Richard Dawkins, a biologist for that matter, sharing transphobic propagandistic misinformation about Iman Khalif. He's even using anti-trans propaganda source. Two men masquerading as women are being allowed to box against real women in the Olympics. Hmm. Biker identifies as a cyclist wins Tour de France. Hmm.
please don't watch that video it's terrible well made but it's vile no we're gonna watch it i don't think pierce morgan deleted his tweets oh before we move on um here is a two tim walls moments show you this this guy's the mayor of hampstead a municipality of montreal canada and this is what he posted That's weird. <laughs> Why is he posting that? <laughs> Bro, you're not even American. Like, what are you doing? And then I also wanted to show you this. A beautiful story. Received as a hero in Cuba. Five-time Olympic gold medals uh, wrestler. Mihain, Mihain Lopez. Am I saying it right? I don't know. I asked for an applause on behalf of the birthday of our undefeated commander, Fidel Castro. Speaking of birthdays, by the way, it's uh, Michael Jamal Brooks' birthday today. Happy birthday to a fallen soldier, a real one. Rest in power, Michael Jamal Brooks. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Is this in Cuba? Yeah. You sounded like LeBron, Unc. No, I was. I was supposed to go uh, with uh, Lolo. With Lolo overruled. With like a legal coalition. With like nurses. There's like always... There's all, There's always this kind of stuff. Um, your sarcasm is getting super thick. What? No, I... Yes, I like Fidel Castro. What the fuck? <laughs> no. I'm not, no, I'm not like being sarcastic when I say that. What the fuck? And I'm also not being sarcastic when I say I was literally supposed to go to Cuba. Um, but the problem is, um, the problem was that there was no way for me to get like internet access and then figure it out. And also, obviously, it would have been, I mean, it would have been difficult to do so. And there's a lot going on in the world right now, regardless. <laughs> Fidel overthrew a slaver dictator. I know. Why not just go and block the experience instead?